finding the arc sign of a complex number. So, luckily I got some new Expo markers. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, I think I'll start with black. So, arc sign. What is arc sign? Arc sign of x equals, here's another notation, sine to the negative 1 of x. But the thing is, sine to the negative 1 of x, this is a misconception. Some people think it's equal to 1 over sine x, but it actually doesn't equal 1 over sine x. It's the inverse sine. 1 over sine x equals cosecant. And I already went over the cosecant of a complex number. So, let's start. Arc sine, I'll write it like that, of a plus bi equals, there's a formula for it, negative i for the arc sine of a number, negative i times ln of the square root of 1 minus x, so a plus bi squared plus i times a plus bi. So this equals negative i times ln of, hold on, yeah, ln of the square root of, see, 1 minus a plus bi squared equals 1 minus a squared. Here, I'll just use a different. 1 minus a lot more pens or expo markers, a squared plus 2abi, and then we have minus b squared, because it's bi times bi. Plus i, okay, plus ai minus b, that's easy to do. And this equals negative i times ln of the square root of 1 minus a squared plus b squared minus 2abi plus oh, one second, ai minus b. Let's see if this and right here And this looks good. Actually, I don't need parentheses. Don't really need those. So I'm going to erase it. Yeah. And this equals, we have the square root of a complex number. There's actually a formula for this. So this equals negative i times the ln of here, let's just sort of simplify it a little bit more. Or actually, no, no, here. To find the square of a, of a complex number. So, this is what we do. We have to take the square root of 1 half times the square root of, uh, put it over here, I think, of um, real the real part squared, so 1 minus a squared plus b squared, all squared. And then we have plus negative 2ab, it's easy to square, negative 2ab squared. And then we have, that's inside of the second square, or square root. And then we have plus, um, yeah, and then we have plus, Real parts plus the real part, so plus one minus or plus one minus a squared plus b squared, and then we have of course plus a i minus b, and this equals. Let's see, negative i times the ln of 
see what we can do. The square root of 1 half times square root of, this is already good enough. And then you have plus, you could change it to 4a squared b squared. And then we have plus 1 minus a squared plus b squared. But we also have plus i times the square root. This is the complex part because it can't be a real number. Square root of a complex number cannot be real. It wouldn't really make sense. 1 half is almost the same thing times the square root of 1 minus a squared plus b squared. This formula took, took me a while to remember, but it's good that I have it memorized. Plus negative 2ab squared. And then we have minus, so we have to do minus the real part, so minus 1 plus a squared minus b squared. Uh, oh, here. Yeah, there we go. So now we can um, we can do this minus b. Um, oh, hold on. We have this. And then we have, don't forget, we have plus 1 minus a squared plus b squared. And then we have minus b, that's real. And then we have plus, so i times, let's see, we have, we have a, a over there. And then we have the square root of, let's see, one half times square root of one minus a squared plus b squared, all squared, um, plus four a squared b squared, and then we have uh, minus one plus a squared minus b squared. Right there. Yep. Don't want to be confused here. So I'll make it more a little bit more clear. And there we go. So now we can change this and get a little bit closer to the end result. So let's see. Oh. OK, so now we have the natural log of a complex number. So we have negative i times Natural log of a complex number actually equals, so let me write it down. Let me write down the formula. So ln of a plus bi, complex number a plus bi equals, equals the 1 half times the ln of a squared plus b squared plus i times the tangent to the negative 1. This is just the argument of b over a. So this is... I don't know if you're familiar with the argument of a complex number, but it says plus i arg of a plus bi. So I'll write that a plus bi. And mm -hmm. so you can write this as negative i times the one half ln. Um, let me see. I'll here. I will box this. Or yeah, I'll box this 
and box this in green. So now we have, I'll just, here, I'll write um, green. I'm not going to write the entire thing, but green. I'll do that later, I think, over blue for the tangent part. So this is going to be, yeah, so this is going to be blue squared plus green squared and then we have plus i tangent to the negative one arc tangent of let's see green over blue yeah so this equals I'm gonna erase this for some more space this equals if you distribute the negative i so you get i and i and you have negative sign so that becomes tangent so tangent moves up to the front arc tangent so arc tangent part green over blue, blue. And then we have all right, plus i times negative one half ln blue squared, or maybe rather blue squared plus, that would make more sense, green squared. So now, I can erase this. I'm going to rewrite this. So this equals, let's see, tangent to the negative 1 of, or actually, here I'll just, can remember that tangent to the negative one of so green over blue so the square root this is going to get pretty large of one half times the square root of one minus a squared plus b squared squared plus four a squared b squared and then we have minus 1 plus a squared minus b squared and then minus b at the end over um, I was green oh we know almost made a mistake there over Oh, almost forgot I need plus A over here. So yeah, plus A for the AI part. And then, let's see the square root of 1 half times the square root of 1 minus A squared plus B squared all plus B or plus b squared all squared plus 4a squared b squared and then plus 1 minus a squared plus b squared and then we have minus b and then we have this part. So this equals plus i times uh, negative one half ln blue squared plus. Okay, I got that. Negative one half 
Ellen. I think that much is needed. Here. That looks better. Blue squared plus green squared. So, one half times the square root of one minus a squared plus b squared squared plus four a squared b squared plus one minus a squared plus b squared and then we have minus b all of this is here squared need some more space one minus a squared plus b squared parentheses all of this is squared and then we have plus the square root of one half square root of one minus a squared plus b squared squared plus four a squared b squared then we have minus one plus a squared minus b squared and then we have plus a over at the end squared um, and then the last parentheses over here one more over here now we can erase this and let's see like this we are done I'll box this maybe some more colors we are done for the arc sine a complex number a plus bi so yeah that's it